Good afternoon and welcome once again to the John J. Moore Athletic Center, the campus of NJCU in Jersey City. It's time now for NJCU women's basketball. The Gothic Knights still looking for their first win of the season at 0-7, 0-4 in the NJAC. Under first-year head coach Pat Devaney Sr., they take on Rutgers Newark, the Scarlet Raiders coming in at 5-3 through a very difficult schedule, 3-1 and one in the NJAC. The Scarlet Raiders have been able to get through a tough schedule and they come in very battle-tested, taking on an injury-depleted Gothic Knights team that will only dress seven players today due to injury. And this is also the most difficult stretch of the season for NJCU because they come off of, as they're staring at their fourth game in eight days, it started with a game at Rowan on the first, and a back-to-back -back taking on Amherst last Sunday, the two-time defending national champs. Amherst, it was a very competitive game, 78-52, to as there was only one lopsided quarter against NJCU, and then they lost in the middle of the week on Wednesday at six-time defending NJAC champion Montclair State, 77-44. to Today they take on a rebuilding Scarlet Raiders team that does have some expectations to qualify for the NJAC tournament again after missing last year under fourth-year head coach Athlete Saplicki. Ashley has a team with eight newcomers, including the Ashby sisters, Hannah and Faith. Faith, who's a two-time honorable mention all-NJAC performer. This matchup also features the top two scores in the NJAC with NJCU senior Miraja Bacon, a transfer from Kane in her first and only season with the program. She leads the, the league at 22 points per game, but Rutgers Newark senior Faith Ashby right behind her at 20.4. Ashby's also a terrific player in facilitating nearly four assists a game and nearly four steals a game. And she barely comes off the floor, averaging a whopping 39 and a half minutes played. Miraja Bacon averaging a shade over 38 minutes per game. So quite a fascinating matchup. And in talking to head coach Pat Devaney Jr., this is a game where the Rutgers newer guards, the depth of them, about seven, could give NJCU some problems, a key being to contain dribble penetration, particularly having just si seven active players dressed today. Foul trouble could be a substantial part of the game with Rutgers having seven good slashers, and they come in with freshman point guard Alicia India Cross coming off of a career game. Looking at the starters for the Gothic Knights, it will be Miraja Bacon, the senior point guard from Neptune, and she is joined by Emily Ruiz making her first career start today, the freshman from Jersey City's Dickinson High. Maisha Bacon will start at the three. Maya Neal will play the four, and playing the five is 5'8 freshman Zaira Taylor-Gaston. For the Scarlet Raiders, Comfort Akimbo, six-foot junior center, is joined by Alicia India Cross as the point guard, Hannah Ashby, Faith Ashby in the wings, and Luis Ann Borgia at the four. We are underway with NJCU seeing an opening bucket from Emily Ruiz. Ruiz getting the opening day start because of how well she played in the fourth quarter in the lopsided loss to Montclair State on Wednesday. And we have an immediate travel against Rutgers Newark. So Ruiz comes out and knocks down the jumper for Emily. That's just her second made bucket of her college career. Came in just one of five. Rutgers Newark opening up with some pressure. And NJC will able to break it. And here on the drive, this one will fall for Zaira Taylor Gaston. And it's quickly 4 0 Gothic Knights. And up ahead, and now a turnover, but an over and back. And a missed opportunity is Maya Neal corralled the errant pass, but wasn't aware of where she was. Our officials, Kaz Beverly, McKinney Caldwell, and Richard DePina. Rutgers Newark averaging nearly 61 points per game. Not great percentages aside from Faith Ashby. India Cross coming off of a 24 point game. She misses the lefty layup. And Ruiz, as she came down with the rebound, is called for traveling. Alicia India Cross coming in with a 24 point game against William Patterson, eight of 10 shooting, four of four from three. This jumper is off from Comfort Akimbo. Got a second chance for the Scarlet Raiders. 
And the black on black, NJCU white on white. In this women's men's doubleheader with the men taking on Rutgers Newark at 5 Eastern. And a loose ball collected, Maya Neal picking up the steal. Neal to take it all the way, and NJCU has knocked down their first three shots. And a great sign for the Gothic Knights. They have points from someone other than Miraja Bacon. Comfort Akinbo on the other end. Akinbo, a six-foot junior from Woodbridge, her second year playing basketball, essentially showed up off the Rutgers Newark volleyball team. Did not play sports as a true freshman four years ago for the Scarlet Raiders. Two minutes in, and NJCU as we get the foul out front against the Scarlet Raiders as they've opened up in a 2-3 zone look. Under former rowing standout, Ashley Saplicki. The foul was against Alicia India Cross. Into the game for the first time, Natalia Ordonez. Freshman from Weehawk in New Jersey. Inside on the follow, and there is Maisha Bacon on the putback. Amazingly, all four starters besides Miraja Bacon have scored to open this one up. As they're on the drive, the lefty layup from Faith Ashby for the first time. Up ahead, NGC able to break pressure. Maisha Bacon into the lane. Offensive rebound inside Maya Neal on the kick out. With a fresh shot clock, this is Miraja Bacon trying her first shot. And off on the three. Faith Ashby. And Ashby into the lane, picks up the NJCU foul. And the first foul against Zaira Taylor Gaston sends Faith Ashby to the line. The Ashby sisters are 11 months apart. Both start at Teaneck High School. Faith Ashby here spent her Freshman season at NJAC Power, Montclair States. In 24 games back in 14-15, averaged a shade under two points per game. And she ended up following her sister Hannah to Rutgers Newark, who was already committed to the Scarlet Raiders program. As the free throws were made by Ashby, now the ball deflected as it was thrown cross court. 8-6, nearly three minutes in. Miraja Bacon, so far just one shot, but she leads NCAA Division III in most field goals attempted in the country. And against the Rutgers Newark zone, on the pull-up, Miraja Bacon. Offensive rebound inside, and this one spun off for Maya Neal. So Neal will go to the free throw line. Neal starting her third game of the season, seven of 11 from the stripe. As a team, NJCU shooting it at 60%, decent numbers for Division Three. Neal had her best game of her career last Saturday. Very hard-nosed player, very good defensively, missing the second. And now a steal ripped away, but we'll actually we'll get the tie-up as Miraja Bacon ended up with it, stripping Alicia India across the arrow points to the Scarlet Raiders. Faith Ashby. Now she pushes transition, and the leave there, the pull-up from Jasmine Erickson, who just checked in. And then we get a foul against the Scarlet Raiders. Jasmine Erickson out of Hoboken, as the Scarlet Raiders will see her pick up her second very quickly. And back of the game is Comfort Akinbo. Akinbo is the, the player that is the one true post on this Scarlet Raiders team. Ordonez shooting over Akinbo. 
And Akimbo able to corral the miss. Push ahead again from Faith Ashby. To her sister Hannah for three. Offensive rebound, Faith Ashby with the scoop. And this one will be tipped out of bounds. They'll say last touched by NJCU. As on the rebounding action was Louise Ann Borgia. Fresh shot clock for the Scarlet Raiders. Come in shooting in it just 34% from the floor. As inside there is the pull up, that's Hannah Ashby. And her first field goal as we're tied at eight. And another Rutgers Newark foul. And Alicia India Cross picking up her second. So the starting point guard has to leave a sincere Lambert has to come in, a true freshman from Montclair, New Jersey. And this really hurts the Scarlet Raiders. And the pull up, there's a knockdown from Maisha Bacon. Bacon with four, NGCU back in front. And a great sign for the Gothic Knights. They're getting production other than Mirage Bacon. Faith Ashby. Akimbo rolling to the basket. And Ordonez will come down with a miss. Push ahead for Miraja Bacon, and Bacon getting to the lane. This one tipped out, and on the push ahead, Faith Ashby. Faith Ashby trying to step through and picks up the NJCU foul. Adding to the uniqueness of this game as we get the foul against Miraja Bacon is NJCU assistant coach Nicole Skelly, who just graduated Rutgers Newark and Coach Ashley Saplicki's program last year. Spent three seasons there at the transferring where she spent her freshman year at Kane. So she has some very unique insight into the Scarlet Raiders personnel. On the inbound and a missed layup inside from Hannah Ashby, wide open miss. However, the loose ball chased down by Dorian Caperso. For Rutgers Newark who just checked in. 5'8 freshman from Rilla Ferry, New Jersey, who has played very well. Capurso's missed a couple of games, though, but she is their third leading scorer and averages 9.8 rebounds as we get the travel on Sincere Lambert. Dorian Capurso averaging nine, along with 10 rebounds. Has missed two games. The Scarlet Raiders picked to finish ninth out of the 10-team NJAC. Top six will qualify for the NJAC tournament. Miraja Bacon, there's her first bucket. For the conference's leading scorer at 12-8. NJCU's opened up shooting six of 12. Rutgers Newark, three of 10. And the foul on the floor as Sincere Lambert began her drive. Natalia Ordonez picking up the foul. Team foul number three. And a big component to this game for the Gothic Knights to limit fouls with only seven active bodies today. Faith Ashby, offensive foul drawn by Jesenia Montalvo. So Montalvo, who is still coming back and not quite 100% yet, but certainly has to play. Bad nerve problem in her ankle. This is only her fourth game of the season, but getting healthier as we get a foul outside against Rutgers Newark. And this is team foul number five, and it'll send NJCU to the free throw line for the rest of the quarter. So Zaire Tarla Gaston will shoot the pair. Zaire at 64%. Able to knock down the first. The foul was against Dorian Caperso. Back 
Two for Taylor Gaston. And NJCU has built its largest lead early. Lambert. Capurso to the corner, Faith Ashby. And Faith Ashby trying to lob it inside and it's out of bounds off of Faith Ashby. Rutgers Newark a year ago, finishing with an overall record of seven and 18, two and 16 in the end jack, both wins coming against NJCU. Two years ago, 12 and 16, eight and 10, and as the sixth seed reached the NJAC final, losing to defending champion Montclair State. Montclair State has won six consecutive grounds. Miraja Bacon. And on the rebound, Louise Ann Borgia. Faith Ashby underneath, could not finish. Ashby got it back on the other side, still couldn't hit. And Miraja Bacon able to grab it. A tough shooting start for Faith Ashby. Now one of four. Off the turnover, Caperso squeezes her way through and picks up the NJCU foul. Raja Bacon picking up her second. Here with 3.03 to go in the opening quarter. So Dorian Caperso will shoot the free throws. And after missing the first, Caperso, 65% free throw shooter. As a team, Rutgers Newark, just 54% from the line, 25% from three. So those are the areas is with eight newcomers in both programs in rebuild modes. But Caperso making the second. Up ahead, NJCU breaking pressure. Miraja Bacon will remain out there with the two fouls. Montavo forced to the floater, partially blocked by Hannah Ashby. Caperso with the leave, and Faith Ashby will now pause and then take it to the rim. Six points in the opening quarter for Faith Ashby, and it's a three-point game, a timeout called by the Gothic Knights. Talking pregame with Pat Devaney Sr. about his Gothic Knights, he felt that they played very well against number seven Amherst, the two-time defending national champions. Final score was 78 to 52, and while the game was never in doubt, there was only really one quarter, if you broke it down that way, where there was a major disparity, and that was the second quarter last Saturday where NJCU was just not able to compete if you break it down that way. And of course, it's a small synopsis, but it was 23 to five Amherst in the quarter. Other scores were 14-11 opening quarter, 18-15 Amherst in the third, 23-21 in the fourth. So Pat Devaney took a lot from that, but then was disappointed that his team was not able to follow that up at Montclair State, losing 77-44 in a game not as competitive or not having as much passion. So he challenged his team to come out with that today as Jesenia Montalvo is called for traveling. And here for the Gothic Knights, Miraja Bacon is going to take her first seat. And we'll see how long this will be with 2.23 remaining in the opening quarter. But NGCU having the lead. Yeah, Pat Devaney can afford to buy some time. 2-3 zone look now for NGCU. Caperso getting to the basket. First field goal for Dorian Caperso. And Maisha Bacon. Montavo to pick it up. To the high post. And missing the shot inside, Taylor Gaston. And then the foul against NJCU in the rebounding action. And that's going to be against Zaira Taylor Gaston. And that is her second. And the fifth team foul.
So that's going to send Rutgers Newark's Hannah Ashby to the free throw line. Where Ashby is the best on the team at 68%. Hannah Ashby, different player than her slightly older sister. Ten and a half points per game, four rebounds. As she knocks down the first. Hannah Ashby is a better outside shooter. Has knocked down 13 threes, which leads the team. And Hannah goes 5-9, Faith goes 5-6. One is more of a two in Faith, the other is a three in Hannah. Off on the second, and Maisha Bacon pushes. Montalvo to the outside. Maisha Bacon slipped her way through, and it's called, rather Maya Neal, called for traveling. Rutgers Newark looking for their first lead. And a three on the way. That's off from Ann Borgia. Luis Ann Borgia for the offensive rebound. Sincere Lambert. Now Faith Ashby tries the three. That's long. Rebound tipped out by Lambert. Faith Ashby just 5 of 19 from three coming in. Han Ashby, good extra pass. Caperso lining up the three and has it. First three of the season and the career for Dorian Caperso. Came in 0 of 4, and Rutgers Newark has its first lead. And now a takeaway. Caperso on the other end. She's got eight points off the bench in a hurry. 18-14. Maisha Bacon, that block shot by Hannah Ashby out of bounds. So after a two-minute rest, indeed, Miraja Bacon returns here for at least a possession. With 18 to shoot, quick three put up by Emily Ruiz is off. Leak out ahead, Faith Ashby to the basket will lay it in. Faith with eight. And Rutgers Newark has put together a 9-0 run. Shot clock turned off to close out the opening quarter. Maraja Bacon getting to the elbow. And it's going to stay with NJCU with 11 seconds remaining in this opening quarter. And Maraja Bacon has opened up one of five. Maisha Bacon. Able to gather it and then picks up the foul, a bailout with Sincere Lambert getting called for the personnel. And as Lambert picks up her first, but that one hurts. And uh, the frustration from Coach Ashley Ciplicki because that puts Bacon to the free throw line. Mirage is at 65% at the stripe this season. In addition to her 22 points a game, as she knocks down the first, those are her just third point of today. But shooting, or rather grabbing eight rebounds a game. And has both free throws. Final five seconds in the opening quarter. Faith Ashby into the lane. The floater is off. But Rutgers Newark able to put together the late run after being mired in some foul trouble early. And they have a 20 to 16 lead at the end of our first quarter of play. Ralph Bidorczyk with you here on NJCUGothicKnights.com. As you're watching women's basketball today, to follow, I'll bring you the NJCU men's game against Rutgers Newark. NJCU men, uh, Coach Mark Brown coming in at six and three, losing at Montclair State on Wednesday night. 81-76 after blowing out Albertus Magnus last Sunday for last Monday night. So that'll be to follow at approximately 5 p.m. You can watch right here on NJCUGothicKnights.com. 
It was an impressive start, particularly the first 10 minutes against Alberta's Magnus where it looked like Rutgers Newark would flirt with leading the game by 40 before eventually Alberta's Magnus had a stronger last 10 minutes, but the game was never in doubt at that time. At the end of one quarter of play, NJCU, 6 of 19, 32%. Rutgers Newark, 40% on 8 of 20, and they've knocked down a 3. Five turnovers, Rutgers Newark, 4 for NJCU. And leading the way for Rutgers Newark, 8 points from Faith Ashby on 3 of 8. The conference's number two score, and Dorian Caperso in her return, eight points on three of three from the floor. Three rebound, make it five rebounds all off the bench quickly. But she plays starters minutes. Second quarter underway, zone look again as this one off the hands of Ruiz and an unforced turnover. So Ruiz is going to sit after the mistake, and Jesenia Montavo is going to return. Well, Pat Devaney said coming into the season he's going to mix up defenses with this team and has maintained that as the roster has been stripped down to just seven players. They're playing without Christine Bizzup, 5'7", senior guard, out with a concussion as that shot missed in the lane, and Louise and Borgia pushing ahead. Got it to Miraja Bacon, who's able to score on the bucket in transition. And this is a hard-nosed defensive player. Already missing freshman 6-1 post Jasmine Reese, who's out maybe for the season with a knee injury. Mary Moan Graham, backup sophomore point guard from Asbury Park. She is also finished for the season with a knee injury. And then two other depth players are out. And that pass stolen away, Miraja Bacon. Ordonez, and picks up a foul against Faith Ashby. So that is now the second on Faith Ashby. And again, Faith Ashby averages 39 and a half minutes, and Ashley Tzaplicki is going to trust her senior and keep her on the floor. And that's now three different Scarlet Raiders with two fouls. They stay in the zone look. Ordonia is in the high post. And along the baseline. And the ball cannot be corralled by Maya Neal. including Scarlet Raider freshman point guard Alicia India Cross on the bench with two. And she was pulled four minutes into the game. Off the skip pass, long two out of the corner is off by Erickson. And then we get the blocking foul as Lambert had the rebound. Or rather, Louise Ann Borgia on the shot. Maisha Bacon picking up her first personal. Faith Ashby across the lane, missed the shot. And the ball ends up in the hands of Montalvo. Ordonez locating the trailer. Bacon missed the shot. Miraja Bacon on the follow, also couldn't get it off. Or rather, it was Maya Neal on the attempt. On the first look, here's Sincere Lambert. The skip pass, Hannah Ashby. Short of the three, Miraja Bacon. Racing ahead, past Ashby, who had two fouls, had to let her go. Now eight points in a hurry for Miraja. And we are tied at 20. Miraja shooting just 29% from the floor. There's a lot of pressure on her. Question is, can she facilitate as we get the travel outside against Luis and Borgia? Can she progress and find balance to her game in terms of shot selection as her very young teammates with this NJCU team full of newcomers. Can she find some greater balance and help them become better players and as they gain more experience? 
and being able to recognize that that a better 20, that a good 20 shots compared to 25 total shots could translate a lot better. 10 to shoot for NJCU. And a foul on the floor as Maisha Binkin picks up the whistle. And this is Sincere Lambert picking up the foul. So Lambert picks up her second. So the Scarlet Raiders who have pretty good depth of the backcourt spot. And that's going to be tested here today. Montavo on the skip pass. Maisha Bacon shot rejected inside by Akimbo. A volleyball swat the other way. Faith Ashby converts. Faith Ashby first player into double figures with 10. Montavo, a hurried shot. Particularly with her feet not balanced. And not a good shot in the situation. Jesenia Montalvo, in limited time, has knocked down five of ten from three. This year, NJCU just 18% from three. Akinbo got good position and scores. What a story Comfort Akinbo is. A friend of hers was on the volleyball team. She missed playing team sports as a, as a true freshman, just a regular student at Rutgers Newark. Playing volleyball led to giving basketball a try. She had played a lot in high school out of Woodbridge. As we get another Rutgers Newark foul. And Ashley Tsiplicki has been thrilled with her. She is a great jumper and can dunk a tennis ball. And the foul was against Faith Ashby, her third. And there is the three by Maya Neal. Big shot there, is there the three, right back for Hannah Ashby. She's got six. And I beg your pardon, the Maisha Bacon jumper was not a three, it was a two. So it's 25-22. Ordonez, out of the deep corner jumper. Faith Ashby. And Ashby playing with three fouls, picks up a whistle. So Faith Ashby, such an aggressive player, had a huge week, named the NJAC Player of the Week after the Scarlet Raiders went 1-1 one one in league play. 26 points on 10 of 15 in a win over Kane as Faith went over 1,000 points for her career. And then in a loss at TCNJ among the conference's elites, had 27 points and five steals as she misses the first. Last year, Faith scored nearly 17 a game, four steals. She makes the second. And Ashley Saplicki feeling that there was so much pressure on her last year. This year, there's more balance around her as that three is off from Maisha Bacon. Faith Ashby and the blocking foul. Oh, what a call that could have been. Ordonez and the Gothic Knights hoping that could be the fourth on Faith Ashby. And Ordonia has just picked up her third. So she is the first Gothic Knight with three. Zaira Taylor Gaston returning as Ordonia is with three, has to sit. Now, Faith Ashby saying that even though she's just 11 months older, she always looks on after her younger but taller sister, Hannah. Second one, no good. Rutgers Newark with its largest lead of seven. And the pass across for Miraja Bacon thrown away.
Zone look. Again by NGCU. Stepping through is Caperso, and it's blocked away by Dale Gaston. And Zaira Taylor Gaston have to be very careful as she plays with two fouls. Maisha Bacon picking up the NG, the Rutgers Newark foul. And that's Comfort Akinbo picking up her first. So Maisha Bacon to the line. And Maisha 65% coming in. It will knock down the first. Coach Bactavani describing her as more of a three player. Her sister's bodyguard. She'll box out. She'll play one through five this year for the Twins in their first and only season in Jersey City. Second one also good. Lambert will try the three. She banks it in. Sincere Lambert, not known for her outside shooting at all. For Lambert, that's her first career three and first attempt of the season. Inside, there's Taylor Gaston with an and one. And the foul against Hannah Ashby picking up her first. So Zaira Taylor Gaston averaging five points, four rebounds. And she's going to be a mainstay. Freshman from Marist High School in Jersey City. And converts the three-point play. Particularly this year, she's more of a wing, but forced to play the five with NJCU's injuries and roster turnover and situation in year one for Pat Tavani. Lambert on the pull-up. And the rebound down to Montalvo. Taylor Gaston. And Taylor Gaston left it short on the rim. It's a five-point Rutgers Newark lead. Caperso back on the floor and the blocking foul against Montalvo. That'll be team foul number four. And for Jesenia. Just her first with three and a half to go. Dorian Caperso saw the lane open up, then Montavo with a good strip. And then the Rutgers Newark foul. And they're going to get Caperso with the foul. And for Caperso, that's her second. So NJCU will shoot free throws the rest of the way. That is now five different Scarlet Raiders with two or more fouls, including leading scorer Faith Ashby with three. So Montalvo to the line where she's just three of four in her limited time this season. So the foul troubles really piled up on Rutgers Newark. And so with over 23 minutes left in the game, and yeah, Coach Ashley Saplicki may have to make some tough decisions. And Montavo missing both. But a key one would be Comfort Akimbo, the starting center, and the lone true post for Rutgers Newark. She only has one, so that's a great sign for the Scarlet Raiders. Hannah Ashby quickly fires and knocks down another three. Nine for Hannah Ashby on her second make from beyond the arc. And the lead back to eight for the Scarlet Raiders. Trying to three, Taylor Gaston. And Taylor Gaston has made five of them this year. Akimbo drew the double team, and then her skip pass opposite corner is thrown away. Pat Devaney Sr. will bring back Emily Ruiz. Ruiz making her first career start today for her effort, great effort against Montclair State. And Pat Devaney wanted to reward her today 
Hard-working freshman from Jersey City. Montavo out of the corner, long range two. First bucket for Jesenia Montavo out of Bayonne High School and a native of Hillside in Jersey. And that pass by Faith Ashby thrown away, looking for Lambert. So Rutgers Newark a bit out of sync. They're still shooting 42%. But turn it over now for the 10th time. As we come up on the final two minutes of this opening half, here from NJCU, Ralph Pinorczyk with you from Jersey City as that jumper off by Miraja Bacon. Faith Ashby distributing. Sister Hannah Ashby missing the three. Lambert, weak side rebound. Her follow no good. Excellent walling off by Taylor Gaston. Went straight up and did not pick up a foul. That made it hard for Lambert. And on the baseline drive, Jesenia Montavo had it blocked out of bounds. In for Rutgers Newark, Radesha Talley, a 5'7 freshman guard from Perth Amboy, attending the Urban Leadership Academy. So she comes in for the first time. Talley's played limited minutes, seventh game of the season, averaging just four minutes per. And now a takeaway, Faith Ashby. Ashby. Changes her shot and still scores. 14 in the opening half, despite battling foul trouble for Ashby. And now the ball thrown away as Miraja Bacon got stuck along the sideline. And she took it out of bounds prior to the collision. Akimbo. Nicely done. Comfort Akimbo with another tough post move. And the lead, the largest now for Rutgers Newark at 10. Ashby, the knockdown on the steal. Hannah Ashby. And the pass for Faith Ashby is off of her hands and a turnover. As the two apologize to each other, both with smiles on their faces. As they look to put together a great year to final year together both playing at Teaneck High School as there's the foul on Caperso with 55.4 and more free throws for NJCU <laughs> Hannah Ashby was the first one to consider the Scarlet Raiders because former Rutgers Newark assistant coaches Tiffany Connor and Karen Roach we're both familiar with Hannah, having coached her at Teaneck High. So that made things a lot easier. As Taylor Gaston has the first free throw. Hannah was already leaning towards and rolling. Despite Faith already being at Montclair State. And it was Faith that followed Hannah a year later to Rutgers Newark. Two makes for Taylor Gaston. With 55.4, NJCU trying to avoid a foul here, which would mean an automatic two free throws. And they'll sit in a zone here. Out of the corner, that's an open three. Tally, that's off. And the rebound knocked out, but then the foul. And they're going to get Luis and Borgia. Yeah, that's a real big break for NJCU to get some more free throws. And NJCU conveniently leaving Tally open to shoot the three. Radesha Tally 0 of 6 prior to that shot. And they call the foul on Radesha Tally. So Maisha Bacon missing the first. Bacon one of two. NJCU 10 of 15 at the line. 
It's a seven point Rutgers Newark lead with a seven second shot and game clock. Faith Ashby, natural lefty. Will pull it back against Maisha Bacon. Entry now to Borgia. And Borgia, tough shot against Ruiz. Offensive follow, Akimbo missed. And NJC able to rebound with eight seconds. Up ahead, Mirage Bacon could not bring the pass in. Four point eight left. Faith Ashby. Faith Ashby is going to get a, a look and a foul called before the buzzer. The veteran savvy of Faith Ashby. That's a situation where, as a defender, you have to back off and force a tough shot while on the move. Yeah, the foul would have been an automatic two free throws anyway, so Faith Ashby, 54% free throw shooter, will shoot the pair here. As they'll adjust the clock and there'll probably be a second remaining, even less. But for Faith Ashby, as she picked up her third early in the second quarter, she did very well in managing. But for Faith Ashby, she's also turned it over six times. Has 14.6 rebounds, 5 of 11 from the field. And now 4 of 7 at the line. They've adjusted it to .4 on the clock. So only a tip possible for the Scarlet Raiders. Ashby on the second. Has that. NJCU hoping maybe for a foul and that's it. 40 to 32, Rutgers Newark. Able to manage through a lot of foul trouble against a depleted NJCU team playing with just seven healthy bodies. But the Aspie sisters, Faith with 15 and Hannah with nine, eight from Dorian Caperso, leading the way. Maraja Bacon, eight fouls. Maisha, or rather eight points. Maisha Bacon with eight. And Zaira Taylor Gaston, the leading the Gothic Knights with nine. I'll be back in 15 minutes to bring you the third quarter. You're watching women's basketball on NJCUGothicKnights.com.
Welcome back to Jersey City on NJCUGothicKnights.com. Ralph Bidnarczyk with you at the half. 40-32, to 32, Rutgers Newark leading NJCU in women's basketball. The story of the first half was the great rebounding ability of Rutgers Newark, not in actual basketball rebounds, but rebounding from foul trouble. Five different players saddled with two or more fouls for Rutgers Newark, but they got through it shooting 40% and led by the Ashby sisters, Faith Ashby, 15 points. Despite committing her third foul early in the second quarter, six rebounds, five of 11 from the floor, five of eight from the free throw line. Faith Ashby did turn it over six times. Eight points from Hannah Ashby, two made from three, and also eight points from Dorian Caperso, along with five rebounds, three of four from the floor for Caperso. NJCU led Getting good balance from Zaira Taylor Gaston with nine, Maisha Bacon with nine. And eight points for Miraja Bacon. So NJC, if they get a typical kind of huge half for Miraja Bacon, have a chance here. And along with maybe some more foul trouble, but Akimbo here in the high post missing the shot as the third quarter is underway. Faith Ashby with the offensive rebound. Hannah Ashby outside. Akimbo, now the right block, powers her way through and scores over Maisha Bacon. And good ball movement as Comfort Akimbo is able to finish and she has eight. And the other way, Taylor Gaston missing, offensive rebound pulled out though by Maisha Bacon. Maya Neal. With the shot clock down to five against a 2-3 zone look. Fire into three, Miraja Bacon. That's off to the right, and rebound will go and stay with NJCU. Emily Ruiz wide open off the inbound, missing the three as Akimbo is able to rebound. Emily, just her second Attempted three of her career. Faith Ashby blocked away by Taylor Gaston. And the ball will stay with Rutgers Newark. The lead is 10 for the Scarlet Raiders. Matching their largest lead. And JCU led by six early in the first quarter. Akimbo shooting over Taylor Gaston, getting that to fall. Great touch for Comfort Akimbo. They call her Comfy, and she is Comfy now. Maisha Bacon had it rim out. And Comfort Akimbo picking up the personal. And that is her second. So Maisha Bacon back to the free throw line. And she is the first, the first Gothic Knight into double figures. One of two. Faith Ashby has had three fouls as she handles now since the early second quarter. A fourth foul could be a difference maker for the Gothic Knights. And also Alicia India Cross back on the court. Starting freshman point guard for the Scarlet Raiders. Will play just four minutes after picking up her second. And now a takeaway by the Gothic Knights. Naisha Bacon into the lane. Scoop layup scores it. Twelve for Naisha Bacon. Faith Ashby got to her strong left hand, denied by Maisha Bacon on a clean block. And then leading the break, Miraja Bacon threw it behind Maya Neal. Rutgers Newark will bring back Dorian Caperso.
Akimbo try to save it, and it's just out of bounds. Maya Neal saw the attempted pass. Rutgers Newark has knocked down four threes. On the cross screen, they look for Akimbo, and the arm bar, Taylor Gaston got there a little too soon, and that's the third on Zaira. The first team foul, that's a big one. Again, NJCU just seven healthy bodies dressed for this game. On the drive, and India Cross missing, offensive follow, Akimbo missed it. Another rebound, this time of the stick back, it's put in by Alicia India Cross. First field goal for the freshman point guard for New Milford. And the other way on the, on the follow, Miraja Bacon following the miss of twin sister Maisha. Rutgers Newark has stayed in a 2-3 zone with the center Akimbo manning the paint. Shot clock to 10. Maisha Bacon. Neal into Taylor Gaston, who flips it up, just missed. And they'll say last touch by Maisha Bacon. And JCU will bring back Natalia Ordonez for Taylor Gaston. And yeah, they set up. Some full court pressure, but Faith Ashby blows past Ordonez. Across for Hannah Ashby, threw it away. Hannah just couldn't reach that pass. The lead 11 for Rutgers Newark, largest of the game. On the push, good transition. Neal, though, couldn't finish. Good challenge by Akimbo, but it stays with the Gothic Knights. Ordonez, quick catch and shoot. That would have been a three with Akimbo rebounding. Push from Alicia India Cross, leaves it for Hannah Ashby, airballing the three. And Miraja Bacon able to pull in the miss. And race ahead, getting into the lane for the floater. It will count. That's number three on Alicia India Cross. Bacon's first bucket of the quarter. So Miraja Bacon, second trip to the free throw line. Can't convert the three point play. Faith Ashby. Ashby steps through and Ordonez rebounds. Ordonez in the high post. Ruiz will try the corner jumper. Not quite on balance. Here comes Caperso. And she picks up the foul, and that's going to be against Maisha Bacon. And that is her second. Just a second team foul this quarter for NGCU. A lob to Akimbo. And Akimbo picks up another foul on the floor. This is on Maya Neal. And just her first. Anybody with fouls to spare is at a premium in this game. Akimbo, and that's the third foul during the sequence, and Neal just picked up. Her second. But now it's four team fouls in a hurry. And off the inbound, a well designed play. That's Caperso for a lay in. 
That's a great baseline of the bounds drawn up by Ashley Tsiplicki. And now Alicia India Cross just picked up her fourth. So she'll have to leave, and in comes the backup freshman, Sincere Lambert. So India Cross coming off of a career game of 24 points has played very little. So she is the first player with four fouls. Maraja Bacon, deep three, and trying to save it was Montalvo. NJCU is yet to knock down a three. Caperso pitching to the corner, Lambert. Big step through, Lambert got her own miss and another foul. Maya Neal has picked up three quick fouls. Here in about a two minute span. And sincere Lambert to the free throw line. So Lambert to shoot the pair out of Montclair High. Lambert missed both free throws and it's out of bounds. And going back to NJCU. Rutgers Newark down to 37% shooting, NJCU at 29. Rutgers Newark has hurt themselves 6 of 14 at the line. That's been one of their areas of concern this year as Emily Ruiz picks up the foul on the drive. And Hannah Ashby picking up the foul. That is her second. And Emily Ruiz, able to show some offensive aggressiveness. One of four in limited time. Shooting free throws this season, but looks very good there. Ruiz knocked down the game's first jumper, or first points today. And Ruiz is gonna be a backup point guard for down the road, learning fundamentals. Trying to get her to speed of the game, but she'll be a quality division three program player for this Gothic Knights team moving forward. Devoted to the program, Akimbo. Ardonias tried to draw the foul, Akimbo played through it. That's now 12 points for Akimbo and the officials were not buying it. In the lane, Ordonez called for traveling. So that's the 13th NJCU turnover. <laughs> Hannah Ashby on the entry. Again, Akimbo. And the blocking foul. It will count for Comfort Akimbo. And Akimbo with a huge quarter now has eight over 14 here. And Ordonez picks up her fourth. So clearly Ashley Saplinki made it a point of emphasis to get the ball down low to Comfort. There's only a 42% free throw shooter. Is an outside hitter or middle blocker in volleyball. Stands 6-1. Been a two-year starter in that sport. And started much of last year in emergency. She missed the free throw. And then we get the Rutgers-Newark foul. 
And that's Caperso picking up the foul. That is her fourth. So two key Rutgers Newark players with four. And that gets Mirage Bacon to the free throw line. And Ashley Saplicki in dismay on the call. She will bring in backup guard Megan Mack for the first time, a junior from Manville, New Jersey. Mirage Bacon missing the first, so Caperso sits. And Mack will come in. Megan Mack is a good shooter. Guard she can trust, veteran player. Second one is good for Mirage Bacon, who has been held to just 11. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Today from the John J. Moore Athletic Center in Jersey City, Akimbo continues to work inside. 16 now for comfort. Ruiz, and they quickly collapse on her on the three. And then Ruiz is going to be tied up. The arrow will keep it with the Gothic Knights. And 16 to shoot. So Rutgers Newark now with its largest lead. Comfort Akimbo now with the 16 points, a game high, on 8 of 13 from the floor and 9 rebounds. Montalvo out of the corner. Long rebound, it'll be Lambert first for Rutgers Newark. Faith Ashby out of the corner of the quick three, that's off from Mack. And Zaira Ga Taylor Gaston back on the floor for NJCU, trying to provide some resistance against Akimbo. And the pass knocked away, recovered by Maisha Bacon. Mirage Bacon has to fire the long two. And that's off with Mack having the rebound. It's been a tough shooting day for Mirage Bacon. Four of 13. And just 11 points. That's a big victory for the Scarlet Raiders. Part of why they have a 14 point lead. Backdoor cut. Lambert will collect, but missed the layup. Mirage Bacon all the way to the basket and rimmed out for her. One of the best looks of her day. Faith Ashby got all the way to the rim. Timeout, Rutgers Newark. Faith Ashby, first field goal of the quarter. And it's a game high, 17 points for Ashby, the number two scorer in the end jack. And depending on how this game finishes out, she could be the number one scorer. Particularly if Mirage Bacon ends up with a much lower number. Right now still at just 11. And the largest lead for Rutgers Newark right now at 16, 56 to 40. A reminder, we'll have the Rutgers Newark NJCU men's game to follow this one. Should get going about 515. 525 area. NJCU coming in at 6 and 3, 2 and 2 in the end jack. Staying in the zone look is Rutgers Newark. Montavo. Good defense by Lambert and timeout here. Pat Devaney with nine to shoot as he tries to figure out the zone defense. It's going to be a full timeout with 33.9 left in the quarter. And NJCU, important possession to try to Pick up a two or a three, get a stop on the other end. 
and be within striking distance for the fourth quarter. And NGCU had the women's alumni game last night at 7 p.m. Good turnaround. They'll take on St. Elizabeth here Monday night before traveling tough game against TCNJ on Wednesday the 12th. The St. Elizabeth game, a non-conference game, and a chance to pick up a victory. The first one for Pat Devaney. And he's still looking for that first one. And the Scarlet Raiders, through a very difficult schedule that Ashley Tsaplicki put together, Division Three, including taking on FDU Florham twice. So she really put her team through the grinder. And it has paid off in a lot of ways. Maraja Bacon with nine to shoot. Taylor Gaston, three to shoot. Taylor Gaston around Akimbo on the floater, and it was off. Made a good move around Akimbo. And 24.2 remains in the quarter. Ashby. Shot clock turned off. Now Hannah Ashby with seven seconds to go. Akimbo out to Faith Ashby. Mack bobbled it, then fires the three, and got it at the buzzer. Megan Mack for three. Caps off a great third quarter for Rutgers Newark. Where they outscore NJCU 19 to eight. And have their largest lead and expand on it to 19 points, 59 to 40. Megan Mack drilling the three. She was three of eight coming in and averaging one and a half points, four minutes a game, but due to foul trouble, four fouls on Elisha India Cross and Dorian Caperso, pressed into action, steps up and delivers a shot. So Rutgers Newark, On the verge of picking up their fourth win in the NJAC. Much improved team with eight newcomers. Brought in by Ashley Tsaplicki. They've never won the NJAC, but just graduated two players from last year, including NJCU assistant Nicole Skelly, lost one other in Anya Harrell. But they appear like a team who's picked to finish ninth that could compete and get up to the 7-8 win mark, and that's what it's gonna take to get the six seed to qualify for the 16 NJAC tournament. Two years ago, they knocked off third seeded Stockton and second seeded Kane to reach the NJAC final. with the fourth quarter underway. Ashby off the spin dribble. Akimbo again shooting over. Taylor Gaston, this one rimming off. Miraja Bacon. Zone look maintained. For Rutgers Newark, Maraja Bacon a bit off balance, short on the three. Man up, man up. And for Maraja Bacon, four of 14 and 0 of three from three. 11 points and eight rebounds for the conference's leading scorer. Mack on the entry again, Akimbo, this time forced into a more difficult shot, not there. And NJC able to rebound. 
as Akimbo was not able to get his deep position. Bacon, and into Maisha Bacon, and they can't get a shot on the three on two. And weaving her way through is Maisha Bacon, wild shots. And NJCU's shooting numbers down to 26%. They were in the mid-30s earlier, a respectable number. Faith Ashby missed everything, and then a foul will be against Akimbo. Third foul on Comfort Akimbo. So if NJCU is able to get the center to pick up her fourth quickly, that could really change the game for a spurt. And we'll see how long Rutgers Newark Coach Ashley Soplicki keeps her point guard, Alicia India Cross, off the floor, but may not need to bring her in. Gothic Knights turn it over again. Faith Ashby to the corner, Mack. Looking opposite block, Akimbo. The recovery there by Tally, who is called for double dribbles as Radesha Tally just returned. Two minutes gone, fourth quarter. No one has scored yet. And the Rutgers Newark zone is stifled in JCU. Raja Bacon on the bench. Montavo, shot clock to eight. And her pass thrown away to Mack. Faith Ashby picked up her dribble. Radesha Tally with the opening to the rim and the blocking foul. Ruiz trying to draw the charge. First team foul of the quarter, and Emily's first. Uh, Radesha Tally. Radesha is a player that can shoot the three from Perth Amboy. Now she misses the first. One of four coming into the line as Miraja Bacon returns, replacing Montalvo. Tally missed both. Taylor Gaston able to grab the miss. Gaston to the floater, and Akimbo able to rebound. NGCU has not been able to get to the sweet spot of the zone in the high post and operate from there. There from the elbow, Hannah Ashby starts the scoring in the fourth. Hannah Ashby with 11. Maisha Bacon quickly. That one was blocked away. And the run out for Faith Ashby. Numbers for Rutgers Newark off to tally for the lay-in. Timeout, NJCU, and the lead has ballooned to 23 for Rutgers Newark. 63 to 40, first basket for Radesha Tally on the dish from Faith Ashby. So NJCU, they were in this game, had an early lead, 20 to 16, end of one. At the half with an eight at 40 to 32 before the third quarter got away from them at 19-8. And Rutgers Newark has gotten production from a lot of different sources, but the turning point was getting the ball inside to comfort Akimbo consistently. And Akimbo 
with 10 of her 16 points coming in the quarter. Ruiz trying to set the screen on the two, top of the 2-3 zone. Entry to Taylor Gaston. Taylor Gaston, that's blocked away, punched out by Akimbo. And then the NJCU foul, Maya Neal. And Akimbo, so much of it comes from volleyball being a middle blocker that she was able to kind of block without fouling and not reach over and slap down too aggressively. That's the fourth on Maya Neal, second of the quarter. Mack has gotten significant minutes. Pass across, intercepted by Miraja Bacon. Bacon across the lane, picks up the foul, and an end one. 13 for Miraja Bacon. And the first field goal of the quarter for NJCU. And for Miraja Bacon, who came in leading the country with 190 field goals attempted. That's 27 shots and change per game as there's a foul on Ruiz. And Rutgers Newark has been able to collapse on her. For Miraja Bacon at this moment, 17 shots midway through the fourth. So they're gonna lower, or possibly lower her attempts. That's a big area if you want to avoid being picked off by NJCU. NJCU picking up full court, Mack. And Mack is able to cross and get rid of it off to Faith Ashby. Ashby weaves her way through, got to her strong left hand, but missed the shot. Then Hannah Ashby had it ripped away by Miraja Bacon. Bacon again, slips through, but it rimmed off. Did not use her left hand. So it stays at a 20-point game, 63-43. Mack on the cuts, is able to score. And how about Megan Mack? Yeah, the valuable minute she has given Rutgers Newark. She has five. Mack came in with just nine total points. And a three on the way from Miraja Bacon. First main three for NJCU. On the cut through, Mack. Out to Hannah Ashby with three on the timer, has to shoot, and it's short. Miraja Bacon, 340 left. Trying to get another quick one back, could not. Offensive rebound and the follow, Maya Neal is fouled. So Neal to the free throw line. The sophomore from East Orange, Megan Mack, the personal, her second. NJCU will get Natalia Ordonez back in. Oh, 
And Neal short on the second, but gets her own miss. Then Neal put it up, missed it. And it's out of bounds going back to Rutgers Newark. And some missed opportunities, a couple of high percentage layups missed by Bacon. That one there by Neal. And it remains an 18 point lead, 65-47. But some chances for NJCU to make this interesting. So Rutgers Newark looks to close this one out and make it two in a row. And four and one in the NJAC. Inside, Faith Ashby. 19 for Ashby. Mirage of Bacon. Not there, the long rebound out to Tally. And with under three minutes left, we're going to get a tie up. And the arrow is going to go back to NJCU. NJCU fought hard in this one. Uh, credit Rutgers Newark getting the ball inside to begin the third quarter to create some separation. They're sh shooting 42% for the game. They've made five threes. And despite the poor free throw shooting by Rutgers Newark, they're going to win this one handily. If that shot is an air ball, Maisha Bacon. And then Bacon, last touched. As Chelsea Scott, senior guard for Rutgers Newark, into the game for the first time. From Sicklerville, New Jersey, South Jersey, Timber Creek High. Maisha Bacon missed the jumper. And Ashby, who is able to be very disciplined after picking up her third foul early in the second quarter, has not picked up her fourth. And credit Faith for that maturity. And if Ashby picks up a fourth at any point, that might have created a window of opportunity for NJCU. Faith Ashby missed a three. Rebound tally and a fresh shot clock for Rutgers Newark. Timeout Ashley Saplicki. With 152 left. So NJCU have to look ahead to Monday night's game where they'll host St. Elizabeth here at 7 p.m. And you can watch the broadcast here on NJCU GothicKnights.com. And that is going to be an opportunity for Coach Pat Devaney Sr. to pick up his first win before jumping back into NJAC play and visiting Ewing to take on TCNJ, one of the conference's best programs. And this has been a hard-working group that is hoping to just have a glimmer of success this year and build for the future. Passes Miraja Bacon, ripped it away from Faith Ashby on the pickup, Bacon. And will take it in. 18 for Miraja. Rutgers Newark content to take some time off the clock. They've got Comfort Akimbo off the floor. That shot is off, and a tip out to Tally, deflects to Hannah Ashby. Another timeout, Rutgers Newark, just to sub in Kiara Ammons, a freshman guard. Ammons from Newark's Shabazz High School. So with 109 left, teaching opportunity for Ashley Saplicki. And the lead being 18. NJCU saw the game open up with balanced production. Miraja Bacon did not have her first points until midway through the first quarter. And not until four other Gothic Knights had scored. So that was a real positive development for Pat Devaney. Can he see other people contribute offensively?
that was a real positive, and that was what would help the Gothic Knights play a very competitive 20 to 16 quarter. And the steal is Bacon, though, stepped on the sideline. Right now, Mirage Bacon, 18 points. Can she get another field goal? Came in averaging 22. And with Faith Ashby having 19, both will be under their averages. But that will bring the scoring race between them a little closer. Faith came in averaging 20.3, Miraja 22.1. Final minute of the fourth quarter. Mack, and her pass deflected and stolen by Maisha Bacon. Maisha Bacon puts it up off the glass. 14 for Maisha Bacon. And we have an official's timeout. The clock did not stop after the made basket. So there'll be some additional time here. They're going to fix the clock to add a couple more seconds. But a good game for Maisha Bacon with 14. And Maisha came in averaging six. Inbound to Faith Ashby. And she is fouled. Only team foul number four. So they adjust the clock. Now we're at 48.2. And the ball thrown into the backcourt, and it's a stolen ball by Maya Neal for the lay-in. Hey, we need as much time as we can keep on this clock. That's the worst area to throw the ball into your own backcourt. That made it easy for Neal, and barely able, any time came off the clock. 67-51. That only took a second and change. Ahead, Faith Ashby. Thirty-five seconds left. Ashby threw it inside, and then the ball collected. As there is Tally with her second basket. Radesha Tally, sixty-nine fifty-three. NJCU back on the floor Monday night against St. Elizabeth. Be a nice win for Rutgers Newark. As Rutgers Newark looks poised to qualify for the NJAC tournament this year. Miraja Bacon airballing the three. Ruiz outside and the three off by Maya Neal and that's it. Rutgers Newark will visit Montclair State, the defending champs, on Wednesday, and they'll go into that game 4-1 and one in the NJAC, and 6-3 and three overall through a very difficult schedule. So this is a much improved Rutgers Newark team that has a lot of different things to offer with six to seven quality Division Three guards and a very good post in Comfort Akinbo. Rutgers Newark picks up the win, 67-53. Comfort Akimbo, 16 points, 11 rebounds, the double-double on 8 of 15. Faith Ashby, 19 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, turned it over 7 times, but played a good chunk of the game with 3 fouls, 7 of 19 shooting. Dorian Caperso, 10 points, 7 rebounds, Dealing with foul trouble. Hannah Ashby, 10 points, eight assists, four rebounds to pace Rutgers Newark. For NJCU, good night from Miraja Bacon with 19 points and 12 rebounds, but seven of 23 from the floor. Maisha Bacon, a very good night, 14 points, eight rebounds, and five of 12 from the field for Maisha. Zaira Taylor-Gaston also nine points, five rebounds and three block shots. 
That'll do it. My name is Ralph Benorchik saying so long for a little while. Coming up in about 25 minutes, we'll call it 515.